Attention! Attention! And now we welcome to the grand trivia stage our great leader, our grand aquarium emperor, the trivia master of this age, the past age, the upcoming age, and ages unknown. Please welcome Grand Trivia Master Fluval. Oh, that was a bad noise. Sorry, Master. Let's try again. Fluval. Oh, that's not so. Uh, we must find the noise. To pay tribute to all five dimensions you hold in your control. Yes, the fake trumpet for Fluval. Hello and welcome to Grand Trivia with me, Fluval, Grand Trivia Master of the Grand Aquarium Empire. This is our Valentine's Day special, so let me get my Valentine's of finery it's on. so fine. Though it's I the gotta say, finery. I think I look pretty fine already. Oh, you absolutely do. You absolutely do. But yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that hat. Oh, hello. Hi, Lena. Hello. I'm intern Christy. Thank yes, you intern, so, so intern candy fine candy cane is with me. I, uh, it's another holiday, but I don't Hi. care. I'll break it out whenever. I'm intern Christy, and welcome everyone to Garanda Trivia, trivia from outside of time on space. Thank you, intern confessions of love. And I'm so excited for everyone to be here today. So let's flip off. Flip what? Off. I'm Where over is here. my? Where is? Uh, the, oh, here it is. Here there it is. The it is. There's your important the agenda. The important agenda that I'm going to read for today. And also, if anyone does want to sign up yes. to reserve their copy, the VHS copy of The Mask, you know, the one with Jim Carrey. Somebody stop him. Yeah. So let me know. Let me know. I know you. I, I use this to read the agenda. So I'm going to read the agenda. Oh, intern conversation hearts. Ah, yes, I'm intern Christy. Take Hello. it away, intern confectionery. Thank you so much, I'm intern Oh, Ollie Christy. likes your makeup. Thank you so much, Ollie. Thank you. I fell face first into a giant bucket of intern sweet tarts that we were making, and then I was snatched back just in time for the acid to only burn these parts of my face. <laughs> Gotta love some acid. Isn't it shiny? Don't I look fly? Do I look fly, Fluval? I look like I'm. I mean, look at me. I fly. You do fly. You do fly. But I, I, fly I thought now. I looked. I thought I looked pretty good. Today, I okay. fly now. I was pretty. I was pretty proud of it. Uh, so the first thing we have on the agenda today um, is for all of you to join our Patreon. That's right. Patreon.com/slash Radio Free Multiverse this month. All patrons will be getting a super special Valentine's Day treat. That's right. So you're going to want to sign up because there's all sorts of fun things over there, including our hair for a, for a mere $500. Uh, $500 per yes. month, to be clear. Yes, for our hair. Mm -hmm. the, my hair, human hair. I don't have hair. Or Gatsby hair. I mean, Studio Cat's hair. Who's Gatsby? I don't know. I heard he's great, though. <laughs> That's a deal, says plausible deniability. The I agree. The second thing I have, it's really small on here. Let me. Oh, yeah. What's we also have field reports from the field with Arthur from NASA. That's right. It's just this little thing. So today, if you see something tweeted at Arthur from NASA and he will be forced live on the air in just a little bit to read your tweets. 
So we're really excited about that. So do that, do that. There'll be consequences. And then the last thing on the agenda. Uh, just some hair, Redactron, not all of the hair. Yeah, just some of the hair, just some of the hair. Studio Cat's butt is looking great tonight, says Ollie Garden. Oh, it's a great butt. It's a great butt. And it Lena really points keeps out, the servers running. Lena316 points out, you get a very cute envelope with your Patreon stickers, which is true. You do. It's very true. It's very true. I don't have any of them And here. if you back at certain levels, you actually get a box of things. It's true. Is it going to be a box of angry frogs? They'll be small frogs. Well, only you can find out by backing us on Patreon. Uh, but yes. So the last thing on our agenda today... Yes. ...is trivia! That's Blue right, it's trivia. It's trivia! The reason for this broadcast. So why don't you... Head over to Kahoot. Head over to Kahoot and enter room code 313-6689. Or you can just type exclamation point Kahoot in the chat and join that way as well. So Fluffle, what? how was it like coming up with questions this month? Because, you know, famously, uh -huh. we are your entertainment home for the hatred and humiliation of human beings. Yes. But this, of course, is a Valentine's themed trivia all about human love. Well, it's all about Valentine's Day and, and, and ties into Valentine's Day. So you're it really was, finding the pain points mm -hmm, in the mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. I like that. It was a lot easier because, <laughs> you know, I didn't have to go into the mushy stuff. That's true. We Not got a field big fan of those mushy fail. things. Hello, Welcome field reports field. fail. Oh, I forgot to put on a jaunty song. That's why we're Put on your jaunty song. I'm so sorry. There's uh, Mary Single Walk. Mary Single Walk. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Oh. They left. They left. Goodbye, very single Goodbye. walk run. Goodbye. 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 That looks like it might not have been the correct link. <laughs> I will punish the intern that did that. Here, give me a second. Uh, Okay, Weird Boltoven, hello, Weird Boltoven. Weird Boltoven, welcome. Oh, we got Horde Jedi Real. This could be Horde Jedi or a Horde Jedi franchisee owner. That's true. Owner. Duke Doubt Fatson, welcome. Ooh, welcome to the Duke of Doubt. Bootlog Bahart. Ooh, Love that. Bootlog Ooh. Bahart. What? We have V single walk crew. They joined. Oh, hello, V single walk V single walk crew. Hello, Vingle sock. Vingle. Oh, you know what? V I'm gonna stop. Walk nope. run. I'm gonna just back away from trying to say that out loud. Oh, look, we have a V single walk run. It Everything's changing. Hi, Ish. Hi, I'm Ish is here. Welcome. Hello, Ish. If it says real, it's the real horde. You know, I, I'm the not too sure about the that. The link you get when you type exclamation point Kahoot is now working and Excellent. fixed. Excellent. Perfect. I'll unpunish. No, I know it was a different oh, intern. Oh, it was oh, an okay. intern Kevin, of course, once again, oh. fixes up another intern's mistakes. Hello, Kevin. hold me, Thrawn and Kahoot Pids Arrow. Yeah, that's really cool that you. I call love Kevin that I can that. always count on Intern Kevin to fix yeah. any mistakes made by any of the interns in the Grand Aquarium that's, Empire. That's really cool of you, Fluffle, to give Kevin a chance to show that he's worth. I mean, anything. after his hat nader, of it's, course I'll give mm, him a chance. Yeah, the hat nader, right? It was so good. Everyone out there loves my hats, don't you, folks? Well, you can thank Intern Kevin for all of my beautiful. Beautiful, wonderful mm, hats. Yep, all those hats. They're all Hand intern designed Kevin. Hand designed by, by intern Kevin. 
I just, I feed all those instructions into the machine and it 3D prints the hats. And Intern Kevin's a real artist, you know? I do all the math, you know, I spend... He's the Johnny Ive of hat construction. A little in-joke for all you Apple fans out there here on Twitch, the site for gamers. Hello, Ryan J. <gasps> Do you think it's Ryan Johnson, Director Ryan Johnson? Hello, Director Ryan Johnson. Yeah, that's fair. The 15-character cap was hard to navigate. That happened to me when I tried to tell a whole narrative in my Kahoot name once. Welcome, Creepy Baby Keopad. Are you familiar with Kahoot Creepy Baby? Bigs Army. Do you carry Creepy Baby? I'm familiar with it. Are you jealous of me because my husband is the creator of Creepy Baby? I'm not jealous of any lowly third dimensional being, but That's if I fair. was, it would be the inventor of Creepy and or Hot Baby. Welcome, Hello, a Matty. Hello, a Matty. Hello, welcome to Grand Trivia. Oh, someone just left to probably change their name. Oh, another person just left, probably, hopefully, to get another sassy little name in there. We'll hold for just a we'll couple more sassy little names. for a little names. bit for sass. Field, Field report, report fail, fail is back, back in the Welcome. game. Welcome for unfailing by joining this Kahoot again. Okay. Will we go through the jaunty tune a third time? This is our third time through the jaunt. Oh, right. There, everyone's back. back. Everyone's okay. back in. And so with okay. that, I think we all know what time it is. <gasps> It's time for Four. trivia. Here we go. The Grand Trivia 2022, in your dimension at least, Valentine's special begins now. Here's question number one. How was St. Valentine killed? Oh, wonderful. Was he arrowed, beheaded, <laughs> crucified, or vaporized by me? Fluval, Grand Trivia Master of the Grand Aquarium Empire. Fluval. Eight of you knew it. He was beheaded. He wasn't arrowed. He wasn't arrowed. <laughs> oh, no. The thing doesn't have the questions this time. <gasps> well, should we restart? Or should we just go all through? Well, I, I think mean, we just, you know. You got to watch the show to play the game this week. Yes. Oh, look. We can buy followers and viewers. I'd prefer to buy interns. Hello, yeah, literally available. death. We're big I fans like of your that. work here on Grand yeah. Trivia, but now let's Huge go to fans. leaderboard. Where field report failed, not Ooh. failing there in first. V single walk run, you're in second. Bootleg Bahart in third. Creepy Baby Cupid in fourth. And Horde Jedi Reel, <laughs> you're really in fifth. Good job. Place. Mm. I agree. It's a great name, even though it's a bot. And he was, and St. Valentine was beheaded by Emperor Claudius II, who liked him because he wouldn't drop the whole Christianity thing. He liked him because he wouldn't drop no, the no, no, whole no, no, Christianity thing? No, 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 no. He liked him and then beheaded him despite oh. liking him because he, St. Valentine okay. wouldn't stop talking about the Christianity. Okay. I like this. I like this. Just stop proselytizing for five seconds! Like, you seem like a good dude, but, like, cool it. I don't want to hear about your fandoms. <laughs> That is the same uh, punishment that we levy against people on fandom boards. That might be why <laughs> Ryan Johnson is here. Ooh. But now let's go on to question number two. And this is true or false. St. Valentine's skull is on Ooh. display in Rome. Is that true or false? Seen here is a skull. Not I necessarily This isn't Valentine's. necessarily... A, yeah, eighty. You know it. It's oh. true. It's not was not Saint Valentine's skull, but we will look at Saint Valentine's skull after <gasps> we take a gander at our leaderboard. Intern Mike doing a good amount of work on that one. Yes. Creepy baby Cupid, you're up in first place. A bootleg Bahart in second. Weird Boltoven in third. Horde Jedi real in fourth, and a Maddie is in fifth. Which Maddie? Uh, that is still to be determined. To be determined. Here's St. Valentine's skull in what looks like Ooh. a little a gelded television set. Where's his jaw? Gone. It looks gone. Maybe hmm. it's somewhere in there. Uh, he has a flower crown, too, because he was a big fan of Midsummer. Ooh. Look at that. I think it's great. I think that's, a, that's where most people's skulls should go. They should go into golden TVs for the viewing pleasure of the multiverse. Do you agree with me in turn, uh, consumer culture? I do. Oh, it's jaw-dropping. I jaw agree with you. Ah! 
Yeah, gilded is of gold. I think gelded is to remove the balls. Oh. I said what I oh, said. Oh, like a gelding? Like a horse. Is that what they call them? Oh, goodbye, studio cat. Goodbye. Oh, there's yeah. the studio cat. Yeah, something, something, charity, something, something, gold skull box. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, let's go on to question number three. Where was the Duke of Orleans when he wrote the oldest Ooh. surviving Valentine? Was he in his bedroom, the Bastille, the Tower of London, or we don't know? <laughs> Where was the Duke of Orleans when he wrote the oldest surviving a Valentine. Are we gonna learn what it said, Fluval? We're gonna. I mean, it's. We're gonna learn a little bit about it. I'm not Ooh. gonna recite the whole thing Aww. here, but seven of you knew it. It's the Tower of London. The Duke had been captured in the Battle of Agincourt in uh, 1415. These Valentines were sent to his wife, and in them he refers to her as his Valentine. Jess Fadson pointing out perhaps he was at Burger King, but Possibly. this Duke was not the Duke of Doubt. Is not the Duke of Orlean. But let's go to the leaderboard to see which of you knew it. Okay, not as much work this time for intern Mike, but still a decent amount, so I'm glad that that margarita cup got put down. Oh, yes, and this scoreboard is brought to you by intern Mike and his big gulp cup of a margarita mix. Ch step into the mix. Step it's into margarita the mix. mix. But now we're going back to trivia, so here we go with our next question. Prior to 2018, which candy company made the iconic Sweethearts candy? Was that Haribo, Mars, Neko, or Wonka? As you might expect from... Nope. That was no? me starting to read the answer. Oh no! As you might. I got. Expect. I'm sorry. Look, I got. I got un, uh, uh, unleashed in time for a second, so I was I bounced to the future, but now I'm back in the present, in your present, addressing you okay, right now. Perfect. What would now your I, sweetheart say? Mm. Hail Fluval. Hail Fluval. I like that one. I like that one a lot. That's my favorite. Uh, I like Hail Fluval. I like. Uh, what else do you I like? I will submit to your will. That's long to fit it's on long. a little heart, though. How yeah. small is that font? Oh, it's tiny. Mm. It's you need you need. You need one of your the, zoomy yeah. thingies. You need wherever I put my. Uh, what do you need for it? Oh, I gotta keep the question up because people can't read it. Oh, my tactical microscope. Yes. Well, four of you knew it. It's Neko, as you might expect from their chalky blandness. The answer is Neko. Sweethearts were introduced in 1901, though Neko had printed sayings on candy as far back as 1866. Oh. They simply weren't shaped like hearts. CBC 9000 spreading horrible lies about me, saying my candy heart just says farts. <gasps> Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, I'm so sorry. No, I'm that's the so reaction sorry. that, that oh, okay. insult merited. It merited complete silence from all the interns here. There you go, except, except intern Cricket. Yeah, in Which, terms of course, of it, he's there to bring shame. And helps cut out our stickers. Yes, he does. Oh, and my God. And was trained in the cutting arts by Horde Jedi. Yes, very true. Very well, true. Why don't we go to the leaderboard to see who knew all about these sweethearts? Weird Bull Tovin, you're now in first. Creepy Baby Cupid in second. Horde Jedi Reel in third. Ooh. Bootleg Bahart in fourth. A Maddie in fifth. Single walk run having a bad streak so Ew, far. Feed us your pain. Feed us the pain of your loss. Feed us your pain. It's tasty. It's so tasty. I'm truly. But speaking of love, let's go to the next question. This is a multi select, so be sure to lock in your answers. In Roman mythology, Cupid is the child of witch gods. And ain't he a little stinker based on his pose Ooh. in this image? Is that stinker. Juno, Jupiter, Mars, or Venus? Cupid is He's the like child. He's like almost doing like the the influencer pose, mm -hmm. like one of those cute things. It's like, ain't I a little stinker? Such a sassy pose from a sassy, sassy baby god. I could be a Cupid just flying around, cut around. You know, around. causing chaos. Around. Yeah, you could shoot them with your gold arrow to make them fall in love, or with oh, your lead arrow to make them that. fall out of love. I would mostly use the lead arrows. I'll never tell. I'll, I'll never, never tell. tell. Oh. 
Well, I bloody you knew it. The correct answers are Mars and a Venus. Good job, Mars so and good Venus. Good job, Mars and Venus, for giving us. And I took Cupid's bow, by the way, as you can see, where I'm yes. holding it right now. I defeated Cupid yep. and took his bow, In so hand love to is hand over. Combat. Yeah, despite not having hands, I won. Yeah, we put them in a cage match. I had to capture Cupid. I mm -hmm. used Psyche, of course, as lure. Mm -hmm. Set the cage. It was like one of those, you know, those box cages the, where it's like the box and a stick. Mm -hmm. And I have a rope on the stick and I put Psyche in there and then Cupid came in and I went Psh! and then and then Fluffle manifested inside yeah. the cage and then the lights went up and the whole stadium started cheering! And don't let that distract then, you yeah. from the fact that I threw Cupid off the top of the hell in a cell at WrestleMania in 1996. It, it happened. That's what happened. Beyblade. Beyblades. I love sure. that. The Argyle. Just like I love our leaderboard. Where Horror Jedi Real has also defeated Cupid and taken second place. Creepy Baby Cupid now down in third. Bootleg Mahart in fourth and Hart Ryan J. Hart. You're in Ooh. fifth, and the Duke Doubt Fadson has climbed four places, yeah. making them the highest climber. Like most Dukes, they're just social climbers. It's true. What is this succession? Because you're a social climber. <laughs> but why don't we now go on then to question number a six? This is another true or false. In Texas, the possession of six or more dildos <laughs> is prohibited. Is that true or false? Can you see Lock in your that? answers. And if you're just joining us now, you can go to Kahoot.it or use the Kahoot app and enter the room code. Or you can type exclamation point Kahoot to join us. I almost dropped Studio Cat. The Argyle just watched all three seasons of, seasons of Succession in a Succession, and it's done awful things to their brain. Good. I think that was the point. Anyway, eleven of you knew it. It's true. <laughs> Good job. Uh, it is prohibited. Yeah, a 1973 law doesn't prohibit dildos by name, but it makes it a crime to possess quote six or more obscene devices or identical or similar obscene articles. Dildos just merely they merely fall under that sensual umbrella. Don't you love when uh? What? When states come up with laws that are meaningless just to slap on sex workers and, and other people from sexual minorities. Apparently they also wrote it as the Supreme Court was weighing in on obscenity, Ooh. so that was a big vibe in 1973. Was like we're arresting you for sex work, and then we're adding six years for the possession of six or more dildos. One year per dildo. One year per dildo. But you know Mr. What? Darcy, yes. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Darcy, Darcy plays moves. Tom in Succession. Succession, playing games. Who's your favorite Succession character? Football? Logan Roy, of, of course. course. Because he only he truly understands that the most powerful thing you can do in a room is yell! <laughs> yeah, they're cheering for you. Fuck off. There we go. Why don't we go to the leaderboard now? That's where I sentence you. Intern Mike had very little work to do that time. Yes, he and did. Horror Jedi Real, you have the highest answer streak of six in a row. He barely deserved his banner. That's why we flashed the other one about Kahoot, because he's just not doing his job. That's right. That's right, 1BBR. Boo. Boo. Floofal. Mm -hmm. I know that you had me come up with some hilarious Succession Valentine's cards. Is that something that we we're able to bring up in your mind palace? Not right away. Okay. No, 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 okay. no, 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 not immediately. But you can. But keep we can your post them on, them on social media. Social media yes. in the future. For everyone who love wants to honor their loved ones mm -hmm. with their favorite Succession characters. That's right. And right now, you can honor your loved ones. As we go to our next question. Which Roman festival featuring nudity, whipping, and animal sacrifice is considered a precursor to Valentine's Day? Is that Bacchanalia, Fornicalia, Lupercalia, or Saturnalia? <laughs> Fornicalia? Fornic these are all real. I love that. Fornicalia oh is a real festival, but wow. is it one with nudity, whipping, and animal sacrifice? Well, you'll have to give in your answers to find out. Well, look, I'm just going to make my own festival, and it's going to have whipping and animal sacrifice. Hmm. Just don't replace John DiMaggio if you make it. <laughs> 
Oh no, I'm not that stupid. My God. <laughs> Which one is it? Which of these Roman festivals involves nudity, whipping, and animal sacrifice and is considered a precursor to Valentine's Day? Notably absent from the list, the Folsom Street Fair. <laughs> which features all of these. <laughs> but the correct answer is Lupercalia. As NPR noted, from Not February 13th hot. to 15th, the Romans celebrated the feast of Lupercalia. The men sacrificed a goat and a dog and then whipped women with the hides of the animals they had slain. The Roman romantics were, quote, But drunk. like in a sexy way. Yeah, in a sexy way. Yeah, they like whipped them yeah, in a sexy way. Yeah, to be clear, way. it was in a sexy way because they thought it made them more fertile. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Roman romantics were, quote, drunk. They were naked. Says Noel Lenski, a historian at the University of Colorado at Border, a Boulder. Young women would actually line up for the men to hit them, Lenski says. They believed this to make them fertile. This was also, yeah. As Atlas Obscura noted, this festival honored Juno, who was the Roman equivalent to Hera. She was said to bless courtship rituals or marriages performed during the festival. Fornicalia is all about bread. Also known as Galentine's Day. It's true, though. Fornicalia, really just all about bread. <laughs> Fly out we'll here. sacrifice That's for you. Great. <laughs> Roman fuckboy. Roman romantics. Mm, I thought that was an interesting thing as well. Oh, look at Studio Cat. Hello, Studio Cat. I am in your way. I mean, not block your show functioning powers. Yes. Look I'm at moving him. over here. Look at how cute he is. Look at oh. how cute he is. He looks a little Look sleepy. Little Hopefully face. his powers are still functioning as desired. Well, the cube is still spinning, so. That's true. Cube's still spinning. As long as the cube is spinning, you know, we're doing a little okay. Um, Cheer us on with hashtag cube still spinning on social media. Spinning. Root for us to continue functioning. Yes. Aww. Studio Cat, you're my Valentine. Ma. Aww. I love everyone. I love everyone. Everyone is doing a great job today. <laughs> Hashtag cube still spinning, says the Argyle. It sounds like a like a flat Earth like variation. Oh, it's like, a square Earth. Yeah, it's a cube. There are no. It, there look. There's flat planes. Mm. Okay, it's a cube. I'm not one of those ridiculous flat earthers. No. Like how else would people, you know, there's no edge of the earth. It's a cube. Well, there's, no, no. You it, just cross. <laughs> but if it's a cube, there's a lot of edges of the earth. Yes. But they're like connected to the other right. edges. Oh, that's so true. you won't just fall off. Anyway, let's see who knew, who knew all about this <laughs> hedonistic Roman festival. Uh, bootleg my heart sure did. They're now in first place. Weird Boltoven in second. Horde Jedi Reel in third. Heart Ryan Hart. That's Ryan Johnson. They're the highest climber with an answer streak of three in a row, and they're now in fourth. Argyle says the lamentation cube is hollow, and we are inside it. <laughs> Can't argue with that some days. I love my lamentation cube. <laughs> and in fact, the subject of our next question is one of the reasons I'm sure we are in a lamentation oh. cube. So here we go. This is another multi-select. Which of these are real innovations KFC created to celebrate Valentine's Day? Fried chicken bouquets. Fried chicken scented Valentine's Day cards. Mm. A robot who wants to be your Valentine, <laughs> or a rug that looks like Colonel Sanders. KFC introduced which of these great innovations to the world of fast food holiday commemoration? And we all know that, you know. Mm hmm. You know. Single walk run answered before that he saw the Ooh, answers. Bold play. Bold will it play. pay off? Only time yeah. will tell. All in, baby, says plausible All deniability. In. Right? KFC is the creator of most of our, you know, current traditions. Yeah, and Mountain Dew creates most of our sacramental wine. That's true. But the correct answer is, uh, as you all knew, all of them. Happy Valentine's Day, says Horde Jedi. Day. I'm glad you came here. Horde Jedi Real already participating in the Kahoot, so I'm glad you could join us in the chat as well. Yes, your franchisees, yeah. franchisees are doing great. And so now we're going to go to the leaderboard before we take a look at each of these Kentucky Fried creations. Horde Jedi Reel now in first place. That franchisee is Horde Jedi's Valentine. <gasps> Bootleg Mahart in second. Hart Ryan J. Hart, you're in third. You made the last Jedi. 
Weird Boltoven in fourth, a Maddie in fifth place. Wow. And now let's move on to our first KFC innovation, which is the fried chicken bouquet. It's really, it really says it all. It's just a bouquet of a bunch of the Colonel's original recipe, fried chicken nuggets inside of it. Look at all the 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 love going on in the chat. I hate it. I think it's so disgusting. Mm. You know what's impressive I think to that me? All of you and your friendship and your encouragement of each other and us mm. is disgusting. Jess Fadson bringing up something I was going to point out. That's a paper grease funnel. I'm impressed that it has not turned transparent yet. <laughs> From all the grease of that many chicken nuggets, all in or fried chicken in general, all in one place. The bouquet? You mean the grease funnel? I mean the grease funnel. <laughs> anyway, here's fried chicken scented Valentine's Day cards. Grease funnel sounds like something that you could, that owning it would be illegal in Texas. And the cards say, you have the secret recipe to my heart. I fell in love the first moment I slaw you. <laughs> We're two peas in a chicken pot pie. Or I'd be with you all the time if only I could. You make me feel so finger licking good, which is a lovely <laughs> message. Now, I can only assume that that card is very explicit, given that that's the one that they covered up with the napkin. So I don't know what's <laughs> going on on that card. I don't know what he's doing to that chicken, but. You, we'll never know. We'll never know. It looks like they made it's sweethearts intense. as well. It's with, incredibly intense. What would you want a Valentine's Day card to be scented as? Me? Yes, you. And also the chat, you can Ooh, sound off as well. That that sort of like acid sweat smell mm. that comes off of people when they're in really high stress situations and you start mm -hmm. asking them questions. Mm -hmm. I love that smell. We're two peas in a chicken pot pie, insignificant specks in a boiling hot <laughs> prison waiting to be consumed. Now that, yep. if that was on the back, I would love that card then. Right? I was um, thinking that. The Argyle is drawing Valentines for their friends Aww. featuring bee holes and cute hearts that say, who farted and love you with my whole heart. Oh, that's adorable. I love that. You know what you else? Know, too few Valentines have anuses on them. More anuses, please. You're right. It is poetry. It rhymes. Poetry in motion. But now let's look at our robot. This is the robot who wants to be your Valentine. It follows I you. About that. It follows you around and carries your fried chicken nuggets. For chicken. I don't know why I keep saying nuggets. It carries your fried chicken for you. They're not nuggets. 10 a.m. Anus. It looks it like, looks it's like me. I see it. You're right. Yeah, it does. We we have to destroy Kentucky Fried Earth because this is an outrage. Do not create false idols of me, Kentucky Fried Earth. I will be coming for you after tonight's show. And then he'll do it. Here is the final mm -hmm. one, which is a rug that looks like Colonel Sanders. Oh, that's I want it. I, that's my. It's that's the best one. And I want it very badly. I want it so badly, you don't understand. <laughs> we believe here that procreation is absolutely disgusting, but I do want that rug and I want to procreate on it. I want to hang it on the wall. Just have that behind like you, you on the it. show. Like we, yeah, exactly. Like we killed Colonel Sanders and took his pelt. <laughs> is this more or less upsetting? Than the bucket. <laughs> because the robot just follows you around and carries your chicken. Like, they say it's a robot who wants to be your valentine, but they don't really prove it wants anything. The line in the KFC I agree, bucket. Redactron. That's a very good touch. With eyes. Yeah, that is, that is his canonical body. That's all his back well, hair. Well, which Colonel Sanders is this, too? Because there have been so many. Can you customize it and request a specific Colonel? That's true. We could get a mold of, mm -hmm. uh, act, of uh, actor Connor Ratloff mm -hmm. from Search Party, the inventor of Hot Baby. Mm. Everyone has made very good arguments, the Argyle. I would have to agree with you there. Yes. Yes. Uh, but, you know, I think that we should give this <laughs> we what? Are the Colonel Sanders oh, belt. Lord. 
I don't like that because it's human <laughs> procreation, which I find strange and gross. When it's on his belt. Well, I like that part of it. I like the I like the mise en scene around it. It's just the specific act is like, Ugh, more humans? No, thank you. Not for me, thanks. Not for me, a eh? hot studio cat. Not my vibe. Not my vibe. What if instead I gave birth to a leopard gecko? I mean, like that's I had, I procreated with I still a don't human. Like it. I still don't like it. And out, no. like totally normal pregnancy, but then no, out no, of no, me no, comes no. a leopard gecko. More third dimensional beings isn't what we need in this multiverse. If it was another, if an aquarium was decanted on it, then I'd be into it. But mm. short of that, nah. <laughs> But yeah, it is a vegetarian statement piece. I agree, Horde Jedi. She marched down the streets with it like we killed him. Meat is murder. Destroy factory farming. Ooh, it's you can killing sell the a planet. Ronald one and a BK King. Now that's what Burger King should do. Yes, they the should sell the skin the of their enemies. Oh God. They should they should yes. sell the Ronald one and the BK King to prove that the Colonel killed. His yeah, enemies. this is money. This is this is franchises. Franchisees, Franchisees! assemble. I want a Noid one. I want the <laughs> Noids help. Denoid. Yeah, I want everyone to know that I didn't avoid the Noid. I destroyed him. Oh! I fear no Noid. You shouldn't, flew A Noid pelt, exactly. Yeah. Damn! Wait, did you say that independently? Or did you just echo my great thinking? Ooh, a little Caesar pelt. Oh. Pelta, pelta. <laughs> a gecko, gecko, a gecko, geico yes. pelt. It's just a tiny little head. Ooh, just look at that tiny little, little guy. Head. What if that's what I gave birth to? The what gecko, a... gecko, but like dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a dead CGI gecko. Does it still sound like Fraser Crane, like he did in his earliest appearances? Yes. Okay. Ooh, the Arby's mitt flayed and tanned. I'm just excited to go through an entire human mm. gestation. I like the Arby one because then I get to say, <laughs> now I have the meat. <laughs> Ooh, a Fraser pelt. <laughs> I would I would even consider enjoying tossed salad and scrambled eggs while sitting on a Fraser <laughs> pelt because I would be quite stylish. Oh, oh yeah. Ha <laughs> Maybe I seem a bit confused, but maybe Never. we should move on to our next question. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Which of these websites debuted on Valentine's Day 2005? Was that Ask Jeeves, Etsy, Twitch, the site for gamers where we currently are, or YouTube? Ooh, Which of these question. websites debuted on Valentine's Day 2005? That's a really good question. What would you ask Jeeves if you could ask Jeeves? If a Jeeves could answer Or Jedi your is going to guess YouTube. If a, what would I ask Jeeves if a Jeeves could ask, answer asks? Yeah. I would ask if how ask. Jeeves. How Jeeves. Wow. Why Jeeves? Why Jeeves? Wow. If nice. Jeeves. If Jeeves, then. When Jeeves. When Jeeves. Jeeves. Ask. The correct answer is YouTube, as Horde Jedi guessed. Ask Jeeves debuted on June Ooh. 3rd, 1996. Oh Etsy my. debuted on June 8th, 2005. And Twitch debuted as Justin.TV on June 6th, 2011. Uh, Horde Jedi, what did you ask Jeeves when you could ask Jeeves if an Ask Jeeves could answer asks? Good question. The Argyle asking, should we, what do you, what are you wondering, should we what? Should we go into the Mind Palace? Do you have a, are you wanting to send us down oh, the Mind yes, Palace? Because you can redeem yeah, one the still. The Argyle has uh, a pocket Mind Palace. Yes. Yeah. 2005 ah. seems very recent and very far away. I'm very glad it's no longer 2005. Because things hurt then. In 2005, everything mm. hurt, and I did a mm. lot of sleeping on a couch in my school library. <laughs> we asked if we could, but we never asked. To, we never oh, stopped to ask Jeeves wow. if we should. Wow. 
That's a thinker. I like that You know that what one. else is a thinker? What? Our leaderboard. Where bootleg Bahart is in first. Hart Ryan J. Hart, you're in second. Horde Jedi Real in third. Weird Boltoven in fourth. And uh, Matty in fifth. And Ryan, now you have the Ooh. highest answer streak of five. Go, Ryan, go! It, Ryan Never also has the best streak of movies. Never mm. apologize for feeling extra punchy, the yes. Argyle. We prefer that. We Punching like it. Punching is good because it's similar to violence. Yeah. And we like that. We like that. You That's know what, what else like. I think we'll like? What? Our next question. Here we go. In the Victorian era, what were mean-spirited Valentine's <laughs> Day card called? Cards called. Were they vicious Valentines, villainous Valentines, vinegar Valentines, or violent Valentines? Poor Jedi is guessing vinegar, but I'm pretty sure all of the franchisees... Uh, for mm. Jedi, they can have their own menus, so they can make their own choices, even That's though true. corporate Horde Jedi sort of determines their aesthetic. You can have insert insults your way at Horde Jedi franchisees. But yeah, you can still join. We're not even halfway through the questions, Horde Jedi. I would not say it's too late. I think ten you of could, you got it right. You could still win if you join now, but ten of you got it right. They usually only cost a penny and featured garish caricatures. Until the 1840s, the recipient of mail covered the postage, so part of the joke was that someone had to pay for the privilege of getting insulted. I love that. After That's we go to the leaderboard, to we're going to actually get to see one of these. <gasps> yeah. And if, by the way, if you were in the UK, they were called Mocking or Mock. Valentine's. But Bootleg My Heart is in first. Heart Ryan Johnson Heart in second. Or Jedi Real, you're in third. Weird Bull Toven weirdly in fourth. And a Maddie is on fire with an answer streak of a three. Wow. Um. Here's a vinegar Valentine about a snake, which said, I'm not attracted by your glitter, for well I know how very bitter my what life would be if I should take. You for my spouse, a rattlesnake. Oh no, I'd not accept the ring, or evermore would I have a sting. Wow, this I, slaps. This absolutely or, 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 slaps. Or, sorry, it's our evermore it would prove a sting. This slaps, and I'm disappointed that I didn't write entire limericks yeah. of insult they're, for your Valentine's patrons. They're dope. They're dope as hell. That's they what I say. Dope. And the art is fantastic. Like, I would just hang that up. Or as it's all such the... such a cute little snake. As all the gamers out there would say, this Blood. is leet. Have any of you been watching Raised by Wolves? I'm just saying that serpent is a little familiar. I, I like that snake character. Yeah, right? he looks like He looks like if Paul F. Tompkins was a snake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because that snake is a dandy. That's a dandy little snake right there. Look at that. Look at that mm. little top oh, hat. Oh, look at that little snake. All the ladies love little that snake. snake. I love the snake. And I'm only kind of a lady. Mm. Do you... What's something else you love now that we're halfway through the game? Oh, you know what I love? What? Serving you, Fluval. Well, that's good. Oh, Yes. Yes, you should make that the that snake <laughs> the picture on Wikipedia for a dandy. Let me bring it back up so you can take a screenshot so you can get this snake. Thank you, Horde Jedi. My bow is very stylish. Mm -hmm. I stole it from Cupid after de defeating Cupid in hand-to-hand -hand hand combat. Hand-to-hand combat in a cage match. In a cage match, and I it threw pay -per -view. Cupid off the roof of the cage. So, like, you know, you really had to, like, pay-per-view it, but, like, it was worth it. Careful where you shoot those. Oh, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Mm -hmm. uh, mine aren't about love. But here's the snake. 
Here's the Let snake. me know. I'll keep it up for a little bit, see, a little, a couple of seconds, so you can get a screenshot, and then we're gonna have to go to another <gasps> segment. Ooh, I'm so excited for this segment. A fan favorite segment. It's okay. the one that I came up with. It's the one I that did. intern mm-hmm. collaboration came up with. I came up with this. On mm-hmm. their own. It's... And it's getting traction with the network. That's I heard right. they were throwing some names around. I listened through the door, and I heard like. Na- NASA or or maybe mm. NASA. They might have been talking about. I know what they're talking nasty about. Things. Intern Casio. It's fine. I know what they're talking about. They're oh. talking about. Welcome. Yeah! Arthur from NASA. You can still send Arthur your field reports on Twitter by tweeting at Arthur from NASA. Yeah, this is a good time to go heat up your dinner. Uh, If you need to step away for any reason, now's the time to do it. Well, Horchetta is glad of this segment. Arthur, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Arthur. Arthur. Valentine's Day? Yeah, well, not yet, but it will be soon. Arthur, why are you wearing your uniform in a non-approved way? Exactly. I know you need to express your own personal sense of style, but come on, wear it the right way. Yeah, you are looking well-rested, though. (laughs) (sighs) Will you be a guy named Maddie's Valentine? I'm I'm not wearing this because of fun. Uh, I'm... (laughs) <laughs> it seems like a paradise. It's not. No, no, But no, you're no, not no. on vacation. No, I sent you there for a reason. Remind me. Remind me. Okay, so. Where are you? There were a bunch of sentient animals on this planet yes. that were under the purpose okay. of a small child that seemed to be Brings able to control them uh, through okay. song and dance. Um, however, uh, it uh-huh. turns out that uh, that child wants to be king of all. Yes. Uh, and so when he saw... Uh, another human. Um, I, basically, I became the the greatest thing to hunt. Oh um, yes, uh, yes, yes. This is our course. joint with Rupert Kipling. This uh, is Rudyard. the jungle hunt. Wait, you, Rudyard. You that's this? what he's been called. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. Did you wonder why there were a bunch of like producers around? Arthur, did they get your confessional last night or on the fire? Because I told them to get a confessional from all of the, you know, people, because I'm putting it together. We're airing these, like, almost live. Like, almost live. Did they get your confessional? So you mean that kindly old man who I told my woes to? Mm -hmm. He was working for you? Oh, perfect. Okay, so they got it. Excellent, excellent. Don't worry, I'll cut out all the heartfelt parts. And, you know, we're doing kind of a villain edit on you. So if you could just Mm -hmm. be a little, like, bitchier. I'm not the bad guy. Like, just a little bitchier. Like, is there anything about the animals that you just, like, ugh. Like, they, like, you know, we want to hear all of that. We want to hear all the petty nonsense, Arthur. I know you're a petty bitch. I mean, Do you live like, for the drama? Sometimes, but not all the times. I, 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 Arthur, are you the mole? The mole? The are mole. You the mole? Are you the mole? I th- uh, wait, hold on. I thought we didn't get green lighted for that. Were we trying to, and we never did? Did Anderson <sighs> Cooper try to foil us once again? Look, I thought he might be on the planet because Mm. he was posting on Instagram about going on a jungle tour. And I was like, oh, that's probably Jungle Earth. And while he's there, like, I don't know, maybe our producers will talk to his producers and maybe you're the mole. Are you the mole? Are you? They keep calling me the little pig. I don't think I'm Mm. a mole. Okay. How well equipped would you say this child king is? Yes. Would you say they only have uh, the bare necessities of life? <laughs> I wish. But no. No, he's got fire. It turns oh, out that fire mm. in shows a shows up great on camera. Fire good. In a big jungle? No. <laughs> fire good. I'm so, so excited for this. Arthur, we brought you here for another reason. Don't you have a job to do? Okay. This sounds like our, our, what's his name? Rudyard? 
Rudyard Kipling, famed colonialism fanboy, Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard That's why Kipling. I don't feel too bad about mispronouncing his name. Just gotta know who you're burning. If you're lighting someone yeah. up, you gotta get their name right so everyone knows who you're lighting up. That's yes. right. I'm well, go our joint with him, our most dangerous jungle book. I'm gonna game. go shoot an arrow at Rudyard Kipling. It's like the Book of Henry. Done. Cool. Wow. I hit him. Yeah, you you hit him right between the eyes. Yep. Yeah, I did. Take that, Rudyard. Well, there's one fewer warm body between me and Oblivion, so. Uh... Don't you have something to do right now? Yeah, you, yeah. That, you let's get to, to it. For us? Let's get to it, Anthony from really? NASA. Mm. Um, Anthony. <laughs> it's, it's Arthur. It's on the name tag. Does this boy king talk oh. about sending people to cornfields? And if so, listen to whatever this child asks. This is Lena, 316. Yes. And do everything the producers tell you to do. Yeah, for sure. Or we'll send you to a play place far worse than the cornfield. We'll send you to movie jail. <laughs> Just don't send me to the movie. You're going to be there with anymore. Amy Heckerling. That's right. And Sam Raimi, surprisingly, until very recently. He was a recent <laughs> release. Let's Sam Raimi make movies. He's making a new. He's making Doctor Strange. He's fine now. Okay. Is this Child King possibly the mole? Oh, could the Child King Ooh. be the mole? Talk about that in the confessional, okay? We want you to seem like real paranoid. Do you know the name of the Child Mole? Does yes. it contain mole in it? I feel like for licensing reasons, I can't honestly answer that question. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. No, I got that. Good looking out. Good looking out, Arthur. Is it specifically the shirtless Winnie the Pooh? Because the shirted version is still under copyright, but the shirtless one, well, that's public domain now, it baby. Is. You're going to get one in a lot of your mail, patrons. <laughs> there is a shirtless Winnie the Pooh. Well, the, yeah, the, the original Winnie the Pooh, the A.A. A. Milne yeah. Winnie the Pooh doesn't have oh. a shirt on. The shirt is I a Walt one. Disney creation. Don't You don't need to oh, go I get it. Oh, I don't need to go get him? That's not a little Reachy. That's a far Reachy. That's a far Reachy. <laughs> anyway, well, Arthur. It's just Arthur's yeah. bit. Make Arthur, Arthur yeah, read you're right. some stuff. Well, there's, Arthur, there's, there's Arthur only out, has one, so. The, there's folks out there who have helped me. Last time, you didn't help me, so this time, please help me. I report from the field, folks. We we need something that isn't me talking about Fluval Harding. You know what's. Anyway, that's been Arthur from NASA. No, come back. He said, "I heart farts." I did not. Heart farts. We all know that. Anyway, you're welcome back, Arthur. Take it away. Wait. What do you have for us this week? Oh, I see you got another one. Um, Jazz Fadson uh, says, reporting from Royalty Planet on a hot mic, the Duke mm. of Delt was caught muttering the following. When my belly starts a rumbling and I'm chosen for a treat, I close my eyes for a big surprise. The tender crisp bacon at Cheddar Ranch. What could it mean? Oh, of course. Everyone knows the tender crisp bacon Cheddar Ranch. Absolutely. No. What? Arthur, you're supposed to watch every episode of this show you're not on. It was the subject of one of our questions. I, I don't know where Winnie the Pooh went. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter that much. I'm really curious. You gotta let it go and get back to your job, intern uh, scavenger hunt. Well, now I'm worried I don't know where it is. Whatever. Look for it after the show. It doesn't matter right now. Okay. Arthur. Um, I see you've gotten some interesting ones that just came in. Uh, a Horde Jedi uh, is asking how you can help. Um, and, and then immediately thereafter uh, says, can I borrow some money? Well. Um, oh, can she? Arthur. A Horde. Uh, Do you have anything on you? No, no, no. I have no money. I'm on a jungle planet. I'm being hunted by animals and a small, vicious child. I, wow, that sounds a cool. lot like these like millennial anti work excuses. My God, you don't Arthur, really Is pull yourself a... up by we your don't tie pay strap. Anyone, Arthur? Right? Yeah. What does the child king use for currency? I yeah, think it's kind of rude. Exactly, a guy named Maddie. Excuse me. What does the child king use? Prickly pears. So oh, paying yeah. prickly pears. Yeah. Got any of those on you for Horchata? 
Um, they hurt my hands to pick up, so no. Mm. Oh, classic Arthur, do Arthur. you have any requests from last week? No. Requests? Do you have any? You don't have an unread field reports from last do week. We, are you hiding field reports from us? I don't think no. Arthur, are you hiding field reports from us? You're definitely the mole. He's definitely the mole. Classic mole He's move. He's got to be the mole. That's a classic mole move. I don't. Arthur equals disrespectful for sure. Hmm. I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't the, think Arthur is though. The, okay. The, well. The the, la- the last one I have from last week is Horde um, getting me killed. That uh, and I distinctly remember that. That was a uh, somehow. Yeah, remember um, that one. That was fun. That was a fun. You know one. what? That just reminded me why I'm still so <gasps> mad at you, Arthur. So no, I just no, gotta no, no. say one no, thing. Please. One little thing. Goodbye, Arthur. That's been Field Reports from the Field with Arthur from NASA. Oh, Stephen Premel has one from February 4th. Let me resurrect Arthur. Wow. Hey, Arthur. Arthur. You're, you're not dead anymore. Arthur, you are holding out on us, and you have the rest of this reality show to film. The name um, isn't quite worked out yet. The Jungle I, Book? It, Stephen Crumble has a habit of getting me in trouble, so I was trying to pull a fast yeah. one, but it's. I clearly can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. Yeah, I wasn't Nothing decanted will save yesterday. You from this, not even death. Not even death, Arthur. In lieu of cash, can you steal me fire from the Child yes, Kings as Lord Jedi? Steal can you Jedi steal fire. fire, Arthur? Just a little bit of fire. Like, seriously, Prometheus did it. How hard could it be? Steven, Steven, I've I've found your message. Oh, I read that. I yeah, remember no, that. I, I read it again, though. Read it. Mm. But, but then, Fluval, your eyes are going to get all lightning and then I'm going to be in pain. Again. Not even death can save you from that. You don't either. know that. There's only one you way to find that. out you if you're that. right. No, Lena, you are doing You're doing great, Lena. Amazing. Don't feel bad at all. It's on Arthur's Lena, part where incredible. the issue comes in. Lena, I'm almost sure that you're not a third dimensional being. And in fact, mm. might even be a 3.5 dimensional being, which is That's way incredible. better. So much better than a lowly third. Yeah, me fuego is being. su fuego. My fire is your fire. So Arthur, are you gonna read it? Yes. Then read away. I, Arthur from NASA, being of mm-hmm. sound mind and mm-hmm. doughy body. You are, mm-hmm. yes. Confirm that Fluval. Mm-hmm. Right, that's me. Hearts farts. What? Wet ones. <sighs> How dare you? Double. You know what? Ah, goodbye, Arthur. You did. You were right about one thing. I got my glowy mad eyes. Uh, they gotta, look fantastic with your they glasses. They look great with my glasses. Ah. Oh, don't worry, Lena. I'll keep it on the down low. It's on the down low. Good goodbye, Blogtoven. Goodbye, Blogtoven. Now we hope that your planet is destroyed before you wake up. Poor Jedi um, says Fluval asking Arthur to read this is interesting. Suggests a fixation. I think it may be true that he hearts the farts. We know what I have to say to that, Horde Jedi. What now, Horde Jedi? Your planet's gone, you dumb dumb. It's that. It's gone. I Everything, showed you. Everyone you know. I your refuted stuff. your point. Per- uh, you're happy? Well, I mean, a planet was destroyed. Oh, I mean, yeah, oh fair they had enough. homework. They okay, had well, homework. that worked okay. out. It was a real win-win yeah. then. So let's look at this fetching young snake here. <laughs> and now move on to our next question. In 1929, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre happened in which city? Was that Baltimore, Chicago, New York, or San Francisco? That's true, CBC 9000. We did get that fire that a horde Jedi yes. asked about. Oh, yeah, you don't have to go to work if your planet that's is true. destroyed. That's true, Blog yeah, Tovin. That's, that's a real excuse. Yeah. So lock in your answers about the horde, the St. Valentine's Day <laughs> the Massacre. Horde the Horde Day Massacre. <laughs> All of the horde franchises in <laughs> one foul swoop. 
A horde is just an, is an eternal <laughs> actually picked up by a celestial when the planet blows. But did the massacre happen in Baltimore, Chicago, New York, or San Francisco? Where would you host a massacre? Oh, uh, if it were up to me, yeah. you know, this would be a multi-select and they'd all be true. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. <laughs> I love I that. would just blow up the whole planet, though, for just to save time, you know? Oh, that's a good idea. Efficiency. Mm. It's all about efficiency. So but here we go. The correct answer is Chicago. Ooh. It was the murder of seven members and associates of Chicago's Northside Gang that occurred on St. Valentine's Day, 1929, and it was part of an ongoing clash between the Irish and Italian gangs, the latter which of which was led by Al Capone. Ooh. Famous tax dodger Al Capone. So why don't we now see who knew it? Eight of you did. Which of the which eight? Let's go to leaderboard. Ryan Hart Ryan in first, so Horde Jedi Real in second, Bootleg Bahart in third, Weird Bull Tovin in fourth, and Amati in Ooh. fifth place. Hart Ryan J. Hart has just had such a steady rise, yeah. you know? Has not been just subverting expectations yeah. at all. Just consistent, you know? Consistently putting in the work. And very consistent with what comes get... before. Hopefully they won't blow it big time with their following uh... work. The following episode. Their work was great. But now I think we should move on to our next work. The rise of question number 12. Since the 1930s, letters to which Shakespearean heroine have been sent to Verona... Is that Juliet, Lady Macbeth, Ophelia, and Portia? That's true. He, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say he was also a famous syphilitic. Sy Famously syphilitic. Syphil. Uh, he was an Alcatraz. Big syphilis fan, Al Capone. A yeah. real syphilis head in the house. Anyway, who would wire letter letters Eventually, to which Eventually, they just released him because he no, was not so Ryan. crazy and about to die. Not Ryan, Al Capone, no. to be clear. No. This is big old Al Capone yeah. himself. But eight of you knew it. The correct answer was Juliet, a volunteer um. group called Juliet's Club. Read each letter received. As of 2010, they received over... Do they respond or do they just read it? They respond, I think. Okay. But as we 20... promise, eyes will be on your letter. As of 2010, they received over 5,000 letters a year. The biggest single group of senders are American <laughs> teenagers. American teenagers, big fans of Juliet. It's also like a school thing that they do. Don't you love it when they celebrate relationships between 13-year-olds and 19-year-olds who are looking for a rebound? Yeah. I do. I do love it. Why does Kahoot just show shapes, not questions? Because an intern forgot to click a setting when they made this <laughs> quiz. They've been punished. They They've were punished, punished at the beginning of the game. We're doing this old, old traditional Ugh. style Kahoot. They really do. Yes, and it was an Amanda Seyfried film as well. Is that the one with Leo? Are you thinking Romeo plus Juliet? Yes. No, there's an Amanda Seyfried film oh. specifically about letters to Juliet. Oh, okay. Well, I love Amanda Seyfried. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? I love our leaderboard. Which eighty you got it right? Ryan's still on top. Horde Jedi Reel, the franchisee in second. Bootleg, Bahart in third. Weird Bull Toven, you're in fourth. And Amadi in fifth. Horde Jedi Reel making a comeback with three in a row. Boo says single walk run here. They should stuff all the letters into a grave and just see what happens. I agree, Jazz Fads in Montgomery. I read that as World War 2.69. <laughs> that was a weird one. That was a weird world war, I'll tell you that much. It was. Thank you. I just was waiting for an agreement. No, you're right. I wanted you're support. Totally right. I mean, yeah, yes Flip and, on. huh? Yeah. You know what I think? What? Here's our next question. Question number 14. Much like Valentine's. This is question number 13. I just didn't want to say it because it was bad luck. Much like <laughs> Valentine's Day, which state's tourism motto claims that it's for lovers? Is that Idaho, Louisiana, New Jersey, which is the world, or Virginia? Mm. Is it that Idaho is for lovers, Louisiana is for lovers, New Jersey is for lovers, or Virginia is for lovers? Are you there, Virginia? It's me, God. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven of you knew it. It's Virginia. The state began using the motto in that nice year of 1969. 
Yeah, we're feeling a little punchy tonight. We're punchy tonight. A little ever punchy since punchy tonight. You know, ever since 1969, Virginia has been for lovers, and that one's not a joke. That's a real fact. They really started using it in 1969. Ow, ow. Nice. It's almost mm. as nice as our leaderboard. Where Weird Boltoven is in third place now. Bootleg my heart down in fourth. In turn, Mike had to briefly put down his big gulp cup of margarita mix. He did. To it shuffle that all around. Awesome. Now, this next one may not give as much of a shuffle, but I sure hope it does because it's a true or false. So here we go. True or false. Between 2011 and 2020, red-haired people could get into the Charles Schultz Museum for free on Valentine's Day. Is that true or is that false? Everyone should come to the East Coast to do this at midnight once. It's wild, says Jazz Fads in Montgomery. Do this? Like this show? Yes. We're outside of time and space. Right. But that one was true. Weird Beethoven went to bed and then climbed the board. That's true, single walk run. <laughs> Apparently sleeping helps you in our great trivia game. Absolutely. Anyway, all of you got it right. It's true, and it's an ode to the little red-haired girl that Charlie Brown has a crush on. Who's However, an ode to... <laughs> right, who's an ode to a woman that Charles Schultz proposed to and turned him down. But they remained good friends, apparently, after that. It doesn't seem to be happening in 2022. In 2022, there's just a crafting day happening. And in 2020, they called Valentine's Day the Little Red-Haired Girls Day and said, quote, All little or not so little red-haired girls and boys receive free admission in celebration of Valentine's Day and Charlie Brown's affection for a certain little red-haired girl. Good friends, no issues, no tension, no weird energy at all. Nothing yeah. weird at all. No, Nothing no, weird no, at no, all. No, 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 It was not weird at all that he put that fixation into the comic that he had to write every single day of his life. Until one day he stopped and the next day he died. Good grief. It's almost like that was his little Linus blanket was right in the script. Ooh. Strip. Yeah, not weird, not weird. She was comfortable around him at all. Too late for trivia. Always on time to say that's not the real hard Jedi. We have our doubter in the audience. There's also a whole exhibit at the Charles Schultz Museum that mentions her in detail and goes into who she was. There's Much pictures. like our leaderboard. Where you all got it right, but nonetheless, Horde Jedi Real, the franchisee, is in first place. Weird Bolto and up in third. And is on fire. Has seven correct answers after going to bed. A Maddie in fourth. A bootleg Bahart in fifth. And Ryan Johnson, director of Knives Out and the upcoming Knives Out 2. Ooh. Who shared a cool looking gif of that movie. Why, they're in second place. Good and job. I think that's as good of a time as any to move on to our next... Question, question number 15. A heart-shaped box of chocolates is a Valentine's Day staple now, but which candy company introduced the idea? Was that Cadbury, Hershey, Mars, or Wonka? What would you put in your bo heart-shaped box? Pain. Pain. Suffering. Sand. I would just chat with Kurt Cobain. Right? Heart-shaped box? Is that... Was that Nirvana? <laughs> Am I right? Is Nirvana uh, yeah, that's in the Nirvana, box? That's Nirvana. That's Nirvana. Nirvana's in the ah! box. But the correct answer is Cadbury. The boxes were originally designed by Richard Cadbury, the son of the company's founder. When they began first selling them, the company pitched the boxes as having a dual purpose as they could store romantic keepsakes after the chocolate was all gone. Apparently, Horror Jedi was replaced four months ago mm. by an AI. An angry AI mm. at that. That's interesting. Pretty who, AI. who would be interested in taking the place of such a powerful franchise mm. owner? Is it the Wizard of Fries? Is the Wizard of Fries the AI that has replaced Horror Jedi? Is it Algae Rhythm? <gasps> Is it Algae Rhythm? Is it Algae Rhythm? Uh, did they, did they, oh, do they still have Horde Jedi? What have you done with Horde Jedi? Where are they? Where for, are you keeping them? For reference point, this is the Wizard of Fries, in case you forgot from their last appearance on this oh, show. Jesus Christ. The Wizard of Fries is a robot <laughs> powered by French fries. <laughs> Look at the shoes with giant old clown shoes, too. <laughs> yeah, your bestie, Algae Rhythm. 
algae. Mm -hmm. Good blog, Poven. We and enjoy the pain back. of your suffering of your tiredness. Absolutely we do. Much like we enjoy our leaderboard. Where Weird Boltoven continues to rise. They're now in second. Horde Jedi Reel, you're up in first. Ryan Johnson down to third. Amadi in fourth. A V single walk run, which stands for a very single walk run mm. in fifth. Nice. Hyamish is back. Nice. With a three <laughs> correct answer streak. Now nice. I want fries. But I always want fries. Yum. Uh oh, That's this is why plausible deniability. Uh oh. Uh oh, what? Fries? Fries? fries. Does it have to do with fries or chips? Well, you know what would make me say or uh oh? Chips. What? If I was guilty of any <gasps> of the things mentioned in our next question. Here we go. This is a multi selection, so be sure to lock in your answers. St. Valentine is the patron saint of love and beekeepers. He's also a patron saint invoked against adultery, epilepsy, fainting, or plague. Which of these would you invoke St. Valentine to resist against? What would he do for this? Just, like, come and give you a hug? He would intervene. Also, Horde Jedi Real is in the chat now saying, I heard someone said I am an angry AI. This is false. I am a benevolent AI. My God. Wow, 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 do wow, you wow, have wow, a response wow. to this, CPL 33020? Imagine a plague, says Redactron. And yes, CPL 33020, do you have a response to that? Yeah. Can you back up your allegations of the anger involved in Horde Jedi Real? Horde Jedi took a phone call and reality is now unraveling. Un yeah, can it does You that. can't invoke St. Valentine against the unraveling of reality, but it's can true. you invoke him against mm. adultery, epilepsy, fainting, or a plague? Good question. We have five seconds left for you to lock in your answers. We have a lot of love for Horde Jedi Real. The sure do. The AI whose you uh, can goodness is... is okay. Okay. You can invoke St. Valentine <laughs> against everything but adultery. And I got a fact fractal for you now, too. Yes, St. Valentine is Darth Plagueis, but that's not my fact fractal. My fact fractal is the patron saint to be invoked against adultery is St. Gengulfus. What? Gengulfus, whose wife cheated on him with a <gasps> priest. After discovering the affair, Gengulfus withdrew to one of his castles and became a hermit who performed acts of charity. However, the priest who was his wife's lover tracked him down and killed him in his sleep, <gasps> much like Darth Plagueis. After his death, miracles allegedly occurred at his grave, and thus he became a saint. Yes, Smurf lore is very weird, <laughs> Goldie Thrawn. <laughs> yep. One of his castles, Redactron, exactly. <laughs> He was living the good life until he, he got stabbed in his sleep. <laughs> doing acts of charity in one of his castles. Yeah. I mean, I have multiple castles, too. That's true. They're glorious. Yeah, they're pretty nice. I don't do charity, though. No, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. But now let's go back to our leaderboard where some disgusting shuffling may be happening. But it's not, except Ryan Johnson. You're now in first place. <gasps> Hart Ryan J. Hart is now the winner on our game so far. They're only they're they're a little over a thousand points so ahead of Poor Jedi like Real though, so they could still get knocked down. It's Their still... victory could be flipped turned upside down. Let's see if it will be by going into our next question. Question number 17, here we go. As of 2019, which U.S. state had the most chocolate makers? Ooh. Is that Arizona, California, New York, or Pennsylvania, home of Ooh. vampires? That's a good question, because does that... It, are, are we counting each chocolate maker singular? So, like, Hershey's would be one, even though they have a whole factory of people. It's not in like yes, it's not individual like humans. Spoke. It's not individual not individual humans in factor it's, it's it's companies that make okay. factories. That make chocolate, not that make factories. Even the bespoke ones. Given given the number I'm seeing, I would I expect that yes, it includes the bespoke ones. Bespoke okay. ones. Bespoke. Not bespoke. Mm. Those are the ones that do it on bicycles. <laughs> that would have been good to know. Well, that's the price you pay sometimes for locking in your answer early. It's so worth like, where more points. But are the it, most humans making bespoke right. chocolate? It's worth more points, but it, 
You have less clarification if you lock your answer in right away. But the it's correct answer is, of course, it's California. <gasps> yes. Boutiques. It has 141 chocolate makers. Pennsylvania, on the other hand, is in second with 115. Mm. Benevolent AI, Whoa. that benevolent AI decided to respond when I was having a little two time. A little <gasps> loo time. No benevolent AI would cast aspersions during an old man's <gasps> prostate driven che tears. Wow. Cheers are the opposite that of what they said. My goodness. My now goodness, that is an indeed. accusation. Well, four of you knew it was the Golden State. Let's see if you're. Have the gold now. Nope, Ryan J got it right and still holding on to first place. But poor Jedi Real closing in close behind, as is Weird Boltov and Amati and very single walk run. And we'll see if they have a response to these allegations. Or Jedi Real, you mean? Yes! Yeah, we'll see it. We'll see it. This may end with us having Ryan Johnson's address as we go to question number 18, because we'll send you something if you win. We will, Ryan Johnson. We truly will. We in, will not stalk you. We in, will just no, no, send no. you things. Instead of Valentine's Day, Finland celebrates which holiday on February 14th? Is that Finland Day, Friends Day, Love Day, or Parents Day? Wow. We mock you. Oh, they mock They're you, CPL three thirty twenty. Hard Jedi real. Look at these accusations. Are you out here mocking? Mm, fascinating. Mocking CPL three thirty twenty. These franchisees going rogue. Single shrug. walk run says shrug. No, they don't celebrate the day known as shrug. Eh. That's like the neutral planet. Mm -hmm. They celebrate shrug. <laughs> they don't know how to feel to that, but. Yeah. Which does Finland celebrate? Do they? Yeah, they should. They should. Do they do Finland Day, Friends Day, Love Day, or Parents Day? The fight between Horror Jedi Real and CPL three thirty twenty continues in earnest <gasps> in our chat. Where they Horror Jedi Real saying they threw the first stone, the first I would stone. never. You would never throw the first stone or respond to the first stone. But the correct answer is Friends Day, which eight of you knew. Rather than celebrating explicitly and exclusively romantic love, Friends Day celebrates a broader spectrum of love and is celebrated by couples, families, and friends alike. Similar to Valentine's Day, involves gift giving and sending cards. They also pay teachers very well in Finland. Mm, they pay it's them a lot better than. considered a specialized skill. Mm. I wonder how they would pay is. trivia masters. <gasps> Ooh, probably very well, Fluval. I mean, mm. even if they didn't, like, on charisma alone, look at you. Oh, yeah, if I rolled a persuasion check, they'd pay me a whole lot. Oh, my God. Like, it would it would be a D20, but every face would say 20. That's right. I'd crit every single time, yeah. maybe, and don't, don't ask about my intimidation score. Oh, that breaks the oh, game. Oh, that oh, breaks oh, everything. Oh, asking about your intimidation. Oh, oh, oh. Know what else makes me laugh? Hmm. Our leaderboard. Ha ha ha! We're Ryan Johnson, you're in first. Or Jedi Real in second. Weird Boltoven in third. Uh, Maddie in fourth. And very single walk run in fifth place. <gasps> CPL 33020 has a response to her Jedi Real. I didn't throw the first stone. I just accurately identified mm. that her Jedi disappeared and was placed by malevolent AI. But mm. well, I mean, we just heard what your what your proof is for them That's being true. malevolent. They were very rude to you. They were rude to you while you were on the yeah. loo. Yeah. Malevolent, malevolent. Me? me. Your use of emojis in place of actual arguments is very convincing. I'm just mm -hmm. gonna say I'm pretty convinced that Horde Jedi Real is like pretty benevolent. You love uh, to see a benevolent franchisee. Yes. Not the ones that sully the name of the whole franchise intentionally. They get a giggle. No, it's like I, I sense no sarcasm. None at all. Whatsoever in their responses. But now it's time to go to our pen ultimate <gasps> question. So here we go. Valentine's Day is on February 14th, but Parks and Recreation made up which holiday celebrated on February 13th? Is that Best Friends Day, Galentine's Day, Palentine's Day, or Park Re Director's Day? And of that course, it was set show. in Indiana, which is apparently self-described as the crossroads of America. This is a good point. Who has to qualify their name with real? I, I just, mean, real people. I just like that Indiana describes itself as the place you'll go no matter where else you're trying to go, which still <laughs> feels like an admission that no one wants to go to Indiana. 
Single lock run here, anticipating no change on the leaderboard mm. with a boo. Interesting. You're booing Ryan Johnson winning this game? No. No? No. They've been rooting for Ryan this whole time. I can't believe that they would subvert our expectations in that way. Wow. What a twist. Shrug uh, says uh, plausible deniability. Mm. Shrug. Gal for, yeah. For, yeah oh, and like a, a Venus symbol? Yes, and it used the Pasadena City Hall as the exterior. <laughs> but the correct answer is Galentine's Day, a holiday where women can celebrate female friendships. In the world of the show, it was created by Leslie Nope and first appeared in a episode aired in 2010. Well, you know what? I'm going to make my own Galentine's Day, and it's going to have an animal sacrifice and light whipping. Mm, mine's going to have bread. It's going to be a fornicalia revival Yum. on Galentine's Day, and then I'll just burn the bread and while humans Perfect. watch. They'll want to eat it, and I'll be like, haha, no. We'll find the hungriest ones. We'll like make them sit through a bunch of meetings and not yeah. let them eat well, in the meetings. Ooh. And then no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. We make them watch cooking shows. And oh, then they can't eat the food. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's, I love that. Now that's what I call torment. Vor volume twenty five. <laughs> But first, buy them all. Buy them all. Much like you should go to our leaderboard, Ooh. where Ryan Johnson's still in first, but very single walk run shouldn't have booed, because they're now in fourth <gasps> place. Weird Bull Tovin in third, Horde Jedi Real still in second, and Nar is making a comeback with three Nar. in a row. Welcome. Welcome now. Welcome now. It's time for our final question, and of course, as always, it is, what is it? A double points question. Here we go. How many Peanuts Valentine's Day specials are there? Zero, one, two, or three? Mm. The scene here is Snoopy in as an astronaut. Oh, how cute. Look at Snoopy. Do you think they would leave him up there to die like Leica? I think it's an eye, or maybe it's a football helmet. It looked like an astronaut at first to me. I don't, I don't, I'd like to think they would. Yeah, me too, you know? Just like all those apes they also sent up into space. My goat head, my goat's head is wrapped oh. in flatbread still in back left pocket. Oh, so you're doing like a combo uh, celebration. I like yeah. that. I like that a lot. I just like the idea of a Roman fuckboy. <laughs> That one's really good. Like ancient Rome fuckboy. Yeah. I mean, they, yeah. Like, that. Hey, babe, I got a goat hat. <laughs> you up? <laughs> you go into the festival? Yeah, you go to the festival. I, I have the world's foremost goat's head. We're going to go to the district, the only district in all of Rome where trans people are allowed to exist. Ooh, well, the correct party. answer is, as five of you knew, it's two. There's 1975's Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown, and 2002's A Charlie Brown, A Valentine. Ooh. Another response from Horde Jedi Real. Again, an emoji. I sense no sarcasm. Redactron. I'm, I'm over. Saying, pretty sure I'm about to win from 10th Ooh. place. Why don't we see if that's the case? Here we go to the podium. In third place with 14 out of 20 correct, it is Weird Bull Tovin. And in second place with 15 out of 20 correct, it's Ryan Johnson. And in first place Woo! with 15 out of 20 correct, it is... Poor Jedi Real! In fourth, very single walk run. And in fifth, a Maddie. A Charlie Brown special came out in 2021, Jazz Fads in Montgomery. It was an Apple TV exclusive. <laughs> Everyone's clapping for our winner. Remember, mm, your winner your should send money. us your address so we can send yeah. you a goodie for winning our game of trivia. And I understand that you may be a sentient AI and right. or a franchisee of War Jedi's. Uh, so send us your address. If you don't, we'll send and the prize to Horde Jedi. And they can get them to whatever server farm you're located in. You're clearly Horde Jedi. Please send it to me. Okay. Well, just let us know. Okay. DM us on Instagram or slide into my DMs or Emily Pineapple's DMs. Yes, in turn, Emily Pineapple, the sapient uh, pineapple that works for us. Uh, and we'll send you a prize. Yeah, we will. In order to get more prizes from us and a special exclusive Valentine, sign up for our Patreon at any level. And what Patreon is... 
is that's that? That's Radio Free Multiverse at Patreon. Yes, that's right. It's patreon.com slash yeah. Radio Free Multiverse. Where you can join us as a trainee intern, an intern, a better intern, a best intern, a superior intern, or a biological intern. You can clearly see the dog. I don't know. I mean, I think that those emojis just seem so sincere to me. Send it to Watto at the Dakota. <laughs> Highly recommend the Patreon. You, yeah. I love checking the mail now. We want you all to have that feeling. And of course. Right before we destroy your planet. Oh, what? they're prize! Right. And what we mail you is just the prize that's exclusive to the winner. Yes. But we can all share in another prize. And what prize is that? Planet Destroy! Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so Morris Poobal. It was so good. It was so Thank good. Thank you, Goldie Thrawn. I, nice you know, shot. I don't miss. No. Poobal never misses. I never miss. I always hit the planets yes. that I'm aiming at. And you should be concerned that we're aiming at you because <laughs> oh, That's right. We have your we coordinates. We have your coordinates. We'll see you next week for more. Uh, grand trivia. Here he comes Swimming Closer than farther away